Radio LR 106.3 Ebatten. Good evening. This is the World News on Lead Radio 106.3. First, let's take a look at the headlines. On the local scene, Inspector General of Police confirms Olumuiwa Dejobi as 25th Force Public Relations Officer. Afeb Babalola calls for interim government in place of 2023 elections. On the foreign scene, protests resumed in Sri Lanka over fuel price hike. In sport, Cristiano Ronaldo to miss Liverpool game after death of newborn son. I am Uluwati Salami. Now the news in detail. The Inspector General of Police, RGP Usman Al-Khali Baba, has confirmed the appointment of CSP Ulumuiwa Dejobi as the 25th Indigenous Force Public Relations Officer. Admin Officer, Force Public Relations Department, SP Andrew Guri J.C. Manza made this known in a statement released today. The IGP had in February appointed Adejobi Force PRO in acting capacity. It took over from C.P. Frank Mba, who was nominated for the senior executive course at the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru Joss. Legal luminary Afeba Balala says Nigeria should suspend plans for the 2023 general elections and opt for a strong gap interim government. Babalola, who is also a senior advocate of Nigeria, San, made the proposal on Monday at a media briefing held at the Afeba Balola University in Adoekiti, the Ekiti state capital. He raised fears that using the current constitution to conduct another election in Nigeria would only produce the faulty leadership and system being experienced in the country. In a bid to prevent Nigeria from slipping into such situation, the legal icon stressed that a new constitution has become an urgent need. River State Governor Nixon Wike says the presidential pardon for persons prosecuted on corruption charges by the federal government only suggests that there is no need to have anti-corruption agencies in the country. He believes the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, ICPC, has been made to suffer an embarrassment as the pardon has made them irrelevant. The governor stated this on Monday while addressing delegates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Kano State as part of his ongoing consultation ahead of the party's presidential primary. He was reacting to the pardon granted to former governors Jolly Inyame of Taraba State and Joshua Darie of Plateau State by the Council of State last week. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, all the three commissioners appointed in all your state's cabinet on account of the 2019 political coalition that brought in Governor Shei Makinde have announced their defection to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Special assistants appointed into local government positions from the African Democratic Congress, ADC, said that their decision to pitch tent with the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state was as a result of Governor Makinde's fidelity to the promises made to the coalition. While speaking on behalf of the other defecting members at a press conference held in Ibado, the Commissioner for Information, Culture and Tourism, Dr. Wasiu Olatumbosu, said that the governor has fulfilled all promises made to the ADC as a coalition party. A statement by the Chief Press Secretary to Governor Makide quoted the appointees as saying that the decision was aimed at ensuring the success of the governor's second term aspiration. The Lagos State Police Command has invited all parties involved in the alleged sexual abuse of a 10-year-old primary school pupil of Crestland School located in the Victoria City Garden area of the state. The Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer, 
Benjamin Ondayan told reporters today that all parties involved in the matter have been directed to report today to the State Criminal Investigation Department, Manti. The parties involved include the school's ed teacher, G.I. Azike, and the parents of the female pupil who alleged that their daughter was sexually abused during the school's participation in the World School Games in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Though the school management said the female pupil was among 76 pupils that represented the school at the Dubai event, which was held between March 8 and 14, 2022, it said the allegation of rape was false. In business, the combined bank borrowing of all firms operating in the downstream and upstream subsectors of the Nigerian oil and gas industry rose from 5.19 trillion naira in January 2021 to 5.69 trillion naira in December 2021, showing an increase of 490 billion naira. Operators in the downstream, natural gas, and crude oil refining subsectors had borrowed 290 billion naira from Nigerian banks in 2021 amidst a significant rise in global crude oil prices. The debt owed by the oil and gas companies rose to 4.21 trillion naira in December from 3.92 trillion naira in January 2021, according to the data obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria. However, operators in the upstream and service subsectors owed banks 1.47 trillion naira in December, an increase of 200 billion naira.